Hi guys, welcome back to The Home and Homestead. My name is Rebecca, and today on The Homestead, we'll be doing part five of a multi-part series of hearty soups and rustic breads. And today we'll be making vegetable potage, which is a French thick vegetable soup. This is a very comforting and hearty soup that is great during the winter months, but it can also be wonderful any time of year because it's a great way to use up old vegetables in your refrigerator or pantry or perhaps at the end of harvest season for some of the vegetables from your garden that maybe didn't quite look perfect and you want to use them up in something that's delicious. So follow along and see how we take some simple ingredients and make some hearty, delicious vegetable potage. We'll be using the Instant Pot today. That way I can saute and cook this soup in one pot and free up my stove for other cooking that I'll be doing today. Okay, so first what we're going to do is get our Instant Pot going on the saute mode. So you simply press the saute button. It's on more and it's, and it's currently set to 10 minutes of saute time. What we'll do is add two tablespoons of butter. We'll let that melt. Okay, so you have the two tablespoons of butter in here, nice and melted and ready to go. To that we will add four to five carrots, which is about one pound of carrots. They've been peeled and diced, as well as two large or four small russet potatoes that have been peeled and diced as well. Next we will add one large leek that has been finely chopped and two small onions that have been diced. Leeks have a very mild and sweet onion flavor and they're really nice to use in soups. So we'll mix all this together. We'll just let this cook on saute mode for about five minutes. And that'll just give the vegetables a chance to become slightly tender. I'm gonna place the lid to just help them steam a little bit. Okay, these have been sauteing for about five minutes. The vegetables are just slightly tender. So now we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. You can do fresh grated, such as I'm doing today, or you could use ground nutmeg as well. Next, we'll add about a half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. This is all to taste. We can always add more later. Just mix those seasonings in here. Now we'll add one quart of chicken or vegetable stock. We'll stir this in. Okay, so now we're gonna take this lid off. And we'll place the pressurized lid on. Put it to seal. Press soup broth. on less and low pressure and we'll cook this for 30 minutes. So the Instant Pot will cook this on a low pressure setting, bring the soup mixture up to a simmer and cook this for 30 minutes to get it nice and tender. All right, so the vegetable potage has finished cooking in the Instant Pot. So I'll put my little steam diverter on here. We'll do a quick release of steam. Okay. Now we'll remove the cover. And now we're going to want to puree this soup. So you can use an immersion blender. So let's get this nice and pureed.
now in a small measuring cup I have two thirds of heavy cream as well as one teaspoon of tomato paste and I just mix that together. We'll add this in here. You can use heavy cream or half and half and you can use tomato paste in a tube or you can use the tomato powder. If you check out my video on dehydrating tomato scraps to make tomato powder, that's a great substitute for tomato paste in something like this. So we'll just mix that in here. And once the Instant Pot finished the soup broth setting, it's on the keep warm setting, so it's keeping our soup nice and warm. Now let's do a, a quick taste to see if it needs any more salt and pepper. Nope, oh, that tastes good. Okay, so now let me get this into a bowl and we'll take a closer look. Okay guys, so here we have the vegetable potage. So it's a French thick vegetable soup. It's a really nice hearty vegetable soup and it's a great way to use up old vegetables or clear out your pantry or refrigerator to make a cozy and delicious soup that goes well with a nice piece of French bread. Well, I hope you're having a great day and you enjoyed our time together in the kitchen where we made this hearty soup of the vegetable potage. If you're interested in more videos on hearty soup and rustic bread recipes, you can check out the rest of the videos I have in this series. There are also a number of different recipes in my In the Kitchen playlist, as well as food preservation, home decor, and organization. If you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care.